hey, let's look at reading CSV files in Python. This is going to be this is going to be easy and short. So here I'm in VS Code. I have a CSV file bwq.csv. That is the beach water quality data from Chicago based on some sensors. Uh, I don't think it matters what the data is, but it gives you a good idea of what a CSV file looks like. CSV is for comma separated values. And here's the values, right? We have a value, then a comma, then a value, then a comma, and so on and so forth. And the, the types of values vary, right? We have dates, we have numbers, we have strings. And the top row specifies what each column is. So this is a CSV value, and they can be quite large. This one is, wow, I don't know, it's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot of data. So we're going to read this in Python, which is going to be pretty easy. So uh, first thing, we're just going to import the CSV package. Then we're going to do with open. Our file is called beach water quality dot CSV. Uh, we're going to call that a file. Actually, let's make sure. Let's just open it for read only. Then we're going to have our CSV reader. And the way we get that is we just do csv.read. And we're going to read our file that we've already opened. The, the width, make sure that when we step out of the context of the width, the, the, the file will be closed. It closes our resources. Um, so now we have our file open, and we can just look through it, right? So for row in CSV reader, let's just print, let's just print a row. I'm always hitting the wrong bracket here. And let's see uh what we got there so this is read a pie right and we can see all the data printing out there is quite a lot of it so it takes a while to print um, i actually have a smaller version of the file for just this purpose so let's just switch to that there we go a little bit smaller data so one of the first things we can see now that we're reading the data is that our first row is actually our column names. It's probably not what we want. Like imagine we're trying to do something with this data, aggregate, aggregate it or, or something, right? We don't want to use the top uh, level column, especially if we're adding up numbers and then our top value is water temperature. So the, the way we're doing things now, with just looping through, um, we can just skip the first row that should make it easy uh, to move past that column, right? So now we're starting with our actual first row. Let's just verify, uh, yeah. Now, one thing, you know, once we're reading in the data, we might wanna look at specific columns. Um, so the way we can do that is just use an offset. So that gives us the first value uh, or the second value or so on and so forth, right? We can do, how many are there? There we go. But I mean, that can be a little bit awkward at times. So there is a, a preferred way, at least my preferred way to access this is to use the dictionary reader. So the dictionary reader will actually read it in as a dictionary and then we can access it by column name. And since it's using that first column since it's using that first row as the column values, we don't need to skip it. And then also here, uh, we can specify things by name, which is just a lot nicer. Hey, okay, beach name. What else do we have? Um, turbidity. I don't know what turbidity is. Turbulence? Is that like the level of waves? Let's see. There was our turbidity values. Yeah, so that way to access things, uh, I think is a lot nicer. Uh, another problem you can have with CSV files, um, they're called comma separated values, but actually 
sometimes the type of values people use varies as the separator. So we can actually specify here that we have a, is it separator? Delimiter, right? So we can specify a different delimiter. By default, it's gonna be comma. Um, so this should fail, right? We can see that doesn't work. But I actually have a tab separated value here. Uh, so it's the same data, it's just you can see my tabs here. Um, so I think it's just TSV. And then there we go, we're getting the same value. So this is how you specify a delimiter. Delimiters can, can vary, it does happen sometimes. What else can we do with CSV files? Um, so we've covered accessing it by row, um, different delimiters. Oh, another thing is accessing it by column. So if I want to look at the data um, instead this way by column slices, uh, pandas is actually pretty good for that. So I can do import pandas. Uh, syntax is a little bit different. So I just gonna do data pandas, I think it has yeah, read CSV. Uh, so it's BWV, WQ, BWQ, that's CSV. And then uh, we can just actually print out the thing in totality to take an initial look. Let's try that out. And so um, my head's a little bit in the way, but but I like the way Pandas presents this data. It tells you it's 10 columns wide, how many rows there are, a selection from each. And then um, if we want to loop through columns, we can say, you know, for column and data, uh, print, column, that should work as well. Yeah, so now we're, we're looking at things the other way. Beach name, measurement data, turbidity, da 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 da. So that was reading CSV values um, from Python. We did it a couple ways. We used the default CSV reader, we used the dictionary CSV reader, used the pandas reader, and yeah, tried some different separators. Uh, let me know if this is useful and we'll tackle something else next time.